Okay, so now we're on number two of Dr. Long's lecture questions for uh, lectures 18, 17 and 18. Uh, this question is asking about uh, the carbon distance between single carbons uh, and fatty, saturated fatty acids and what's the length of two palmitate uh, fatty acids back to back compared to a lipid bilayer. So first thing I did, I drew a palmitate out. It's a saturated fatty acid with 16 carbons and uh, no double bonds. It's saturated. And uh, the question tells us that for a carbon-carbon bond, the distance is 1.5 angstroms. So while looking at this, the distance that they're talking about is between these carbons throughout the whole fatty acids. And since we want to know the length of two palmitates back to back, we're actually, we actually want to find this distance. of the carbons. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do some trig. Um, we all know that uh, the carbons throughout a fatty acids are tetrahedral with a bond angle of 109.5. Um, I'm just going to draw a larger triangle just so you all can see this a little better. So we're still looking for this distance. I just want to clarify that. So this is 109.5 degrees. Um, but in order to find this, we have to make a right triangle to do some trigonometry. So I'm going to cut this in half and not use this marker again. There's our right angle. So this is what we have right now. This is a very good, like, uh, basic understanding of what we need to do. Uh, this is this distance here, what we already said was 105 angstroms long. And since we're only using half of this triangle, we're going to cut this in half. So instead of having 109.5, we're going to use 54.75 degrees. And we're solving for x. So if you all remember SOHCAHTOA and sine, we use opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, since we're solving for this, we're going to do sine of 54.75 degrees of our opposite x and our hypotenuse 105 angstroms. And once you put this into your calculator, you're going to get x equals uh, 1.2 2 angstroms or a uh, point uh, one to two nanometers. So once we have this distance, we're going to multiply this by the number of these that we find in our fatty acids. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excuse me. And we're actually going to multiply that by two because we only used this is the distance here, but this whole distance is actually two x. So actually, before I even go into multiplying it by 8, I'm going to multiply this by 2, and we're going to get 2.44 angstroms for this distance. And since it's 16 carbons, like I said, we're going to multiply by 8. I'm going to bring this over here. And we are going to get 19.5 angstroms. Or you can actually put 0.195 nanometers. And this is only the length of one palmitate, and it said two palmitates back to back. So we're actually going to multiply this by two again. So the final distance will be 39 angstroms long, or about four nanometers. And I know this question asks, how does this distance uh, compare to the lipid bilayer? Well, a lipid bilayer is actually about 4 nanometers long.